Hey guys, in today's micro lecture, we're going to talk about the stethoscope. Now, when you get to workshop one, you will use a stethoscope for a range of different things, including undertaking a blood pressure, listening to a chest, okay? They are the key things you'll be using it in workshop one. Now, you can also use it to listen to heart sounds, but we don't tend to do a lot with that in workshop one. So when you buy your stethoscope, and of course, there are many different stethoscopes on the market, we do tend to get a lot of questions about which is the best stethoscope to buy, um, how much do I need to spend, what, does, what, what are the key functions of it. Now the reality is it very much is a personal preference and a personal choice. Um, students really value getting the nice stethoscope because it is part of your professional socialization and of course we will be using it with patients as well. So for example remember that when you've been to workshop one and workshop two you have to undertake clinical placements and depending on the type of clinical placements, you may be allowed to listen to, to, to patients' chest. So again, it really is up to you, a personal choice as to which one you choose. If we take a look at this image here, this page, you can see there's so many different types of stethoscope. Um, in my experience, you don't need to spend a lot of money to get a good stethoscope. But what you could do is start with one of the cheaper ones. And if it doesn't work for you, if you're finding it difficult to hear, patient's breath sounds, then by all means, upgrade to something completely different. Um, so they are, there's so many different ones available. You can also personalize them um, so that you can have different colors, you can have your, your name engraved. So personal choice, guys, do your homework, get online onto the Facebook forum and see what other people are doing with, with regards to what they bought and how useful they found it. So let's talk about the key parts of the stethoscope. So when you get it out of the box, some of them are already preformed. Um, and what I mean by that is, so this is the headset part here. Now, when you use a stethoscope, the ears must be pointing towards your ear, ears like that, not like this, not like this. They've got to be pointing down your ear canals, otherwise you won't hear anything. You also end up with a number in the box. You, you do have a number of spare ear tip um, pads, so do not lose those because I can assure you they will come off in clinical practice. The ear tubes are just metal. Then you've got the tubing, which goes all the way down to the diaphragm here and the bell. So these are, uh, this is really the, the action part of the stethoscope. The diaphragm is the largest part and the bell is the smallest part. Now make sure you've twisted it so that, it, that the part that you want to use is turned on. You can turn this on by literally turning it, feel for a click, put the ear tips in, give a gentle press. And if it's really loud, then that's, that's the side that you're using. Far too often we do have students who will try and listen, they can't hear anything. Turns out they, they've turned the bell side, this part on, and this part off, and they can't hear it. So make sure you get that bit right. They're used for, for listening for different types of sounds. And with both of these, the, the, del, the bell and the diaphragm, the harder you press on the, ch on, on the patient's chest, the more you're going to hear. Um, and that's basically it. So you've got your ear tips, your ear tubes. This is just a, a piece of metal or aluminium. Um, you've got your, uh, your tube in and your, your, the, the, the diaphragm and bell. Now, chest auscultation is something you will do in some detail in the workshop. But basically what you're doing is you're comparing left to right um, and you're listening for the different sounds in the lobes. So that's not something we're going to cover in any detail here. And as I've said, you can also listen for the heart sounds. But again, we don't do that in a massive amount of detail because that really is more of an advanced skill. So my name is Sam Willis. And I hope you've enjoyed this micro lecture on the stethoscope. Um, I look forward to engaging with you again shortly. Thanks, guys.